السلام عليكم Hello and welcome to another video in the Arabic language school with Muhammad Saleh Today we will study the single, dual and the plural forms of Arabic nouns Subscribe to my channel to learn the Arabic language together We put simple lessons like this one Let's start The nouns in Arabic language are divided in terms of numbers to the single, al-mufrad, the dual, al-muthanna, and the plural, al-jamma. The single, al-mufrad, is any name that indicates one male or female. The word mufrad comes from the root farada to become one or unique. We say farid is unique, one of a kind. So the meaning of mufrad is one alone in Arabic. We use the demonstrative pronoun هذا with the single male. هذا ولد. This is a boy. And هذه for the single female. هذه بنت. هذا and هذه is called أسماء الإشارة. The demonstrative names They are considered as nouns in Arabic Not pronouns as English Then in Arabic we have special form called Al-Muthanna From the number Ithnan Two Muthanna Ithnan The dual is any name that indicate two nouns Males or females It is made by adding the suffix Alif plus noon an at the end of the noun. Walad, one boy. Waladan, two boys. Waladan. Bent, one girl. Becomes bintan. Bintan, two girls. Shajara is single, which means three. Shajara. Contains the female sign Atta'ul Marbuta. Atta'ul Marbuta is pronounced like Ha if we stop. But if we continue, say it as Ta. So Shajara becomes Shajaratan. Shajaratan. Two trees. Fata is girl. Two girls. Fatatan. Fatatan. فتاتان جميلتان Two beautiful girls We use the demonstrative pronoun هذان With the dual males هذان ولدان These are two boys And هاتان For the dual females هاتان فتاتان جميلتان These are Two beautiful girls. Then the plural in Arabic language. Plural is jamma, from the root jama'a, which means gather or anything together. We have the word jami', the big mosque, because people are gathered for salah. Also, university jami'a, because the students gathered there. So, الجمع is any noun that indicates three or more together. We have three types of plural in Arabic. The first is the regular male. جمع المذكر السالم مذكر means male. سالم from the root سالمة is to be safe. سالم means intact because the word remains as it is then we add the suffix waw and noon. Un. Muallim. Teacher becomes muallimun. Muallimun. Muhandis. Engineer becomes muhandisun. Muhandisun. The second type is the regular female. Al muannathu salim. We leave the female noun intact, then we add alif 
and the at in the word muallima female teacher we remove at ta al marbuta because it is not part of the origin of the word it is just a feminism mark we remove this ta then we add alif plus ta so muallima becomes muallimat muallimat muhandisa becomes muhandisat the third type is the irregular or at taksir from the root kasara to break because we change the origin of the word and we give it a new shape this type of plural must be memorized but it has some patterns the same words make the same form in the plural صوت voice becomes أصوات خبر أخبار أصوات and أخبار take the same pattern also مصحف becomes مصاحف مسجد becomes مساجد مساجد and مصاحف the same pattern we use the demonstrative noun هؤلاء for all the plural forms we use هؤلاء to indicate the people هؤلاء مدرسون هؤلاء مدرسون هؤلاء مدرسات هؤلاء مدرسات هؤلاء تلاميذ هؤلاء تلاميذ but if they are objects or animals we use هذه the same word we use with the single female هذه مدارس هذه مدارس هذه كلاب هذه كلاب this was our lesson for today let's summarize what we said the Arabic noun can be single, dual, or plural. We refer to the single male by the demonstrative هذا for male and هذه for female. The dual form is used to indicate the two. We add alif plus noon at the end of the word. Talib becomes Taliban. Asad becomes أسدان دولة دولتان to indicate the dual noun use هذان for the dual male هذاني ولدان or هاتاني with the dual female هاتاني فتاتان the plural can be male regular جمع مذكر سالم we add واو plus نون at the end of the word مدرس becomes مدرسون or female regular جمع مؤنث سالم we add ألف plus تاء مدرسة becomes مدرسات or irregular جمع تكسير you have to memorize these words we refer to the plural by هؤلاء if the word indicates people هؤلاء مدرسون هؤلاء مدرسات or by هذه if the word indicates animals or objects هذه قطط هذه سيارات I will write this summary flashcard in the description below so this was the end of this lesson I hope you enjoyed it Thank you for watching and see you next video. Assalamu alaikum.